Oh, this is kind of out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is awesome, actually. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Are you are you full? I'm full. I need to poop. <laughs> <laughs> so Legiona is a jazz kind of R&B <laughs> pop soloist. So she was actually signed to a record label and already produced a full album around the age of 23, but the release didn't go too well. Her label told her to go audition for a competition called K-pop Star. We've seen a few other groups who have gone through that and uh -huh. won it. And she became famous through that. Yes. So we'll be reacting to her very first song. She released under antenna music called I'm Full, which is a title track for her 2016 mini album called Appetizer, which is oh, really cool. Yeah. I know, right? That was her mini album, right? Well, her full album that mini. she released afterwards is called Main Dish. Ah! So this song was fully written, composed, and arranged by her, and she's the pianist in the track. The CEO of her company says that her imagination and voice are like those of a little girl, which is why the melodies she makes are kind of like children's songs, mm -hmm. but underneath that, the way her hands move on the piano is unbelievable. He says, I defy you to find any artist who can play and sing like that once. All right, five, four, three, two, one. I'm hungry. Oh, I want some of that cake. I want some of that cake in that cake. You know that cake that is that boy. Uh-huh, I, I got it. Wait, whoa, was that her saying one, two, three? Oh. Ooh. Very bluesy. Oh, I already like the way the drums are recorded, actually. A little organ. What a voice. Yeah. Okay, wow. The voice, I definitely get why it's a little bit tingy. But her piano playing, it's good. I dig it. How old is she? 25 in this. <coughs> it's her real voice. I had a lower voice than her when I was like six. I like that low piano bass. It's good contrast to her voice. It's like a total curve wall. Because it's like a sound like you, you, you don't hear. I'm digging this harmony. Like, it's true. Yeah, it's like gospel kind of. I almost always hate the cutesy voice because it just makes me cringe. This is the first exception. <laughs> like the brass. I like everything about the song except for her voice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's not always. I, yeah, like the. It's the really casual jazzness of it. Yeah, contemporary kind of. Just a lot of ninths and thirteenths. Yeah. And her voice just floats over everything, you know? Like, you know, you have this huge, like, big band, bluesy sound, but, like, you know, oftentimes with the Korean R&B, it can kind of be a little bit, you know, everything yeah. goes bills and bills, where she's just, like, floating. Yeah, what is... Not bad solo. No, not <laughs> bad at all. That wasn't bad. Would have liked it a bit more articulate. A little bit more space in between the notes. I mean, I just like the fact that she's like just she's like, riffing. Well, there's an improv. Like, I mean, improvise she can improvise so, like, so much better than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pony! Oh my God! So many animals. Oh! oh. 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 I've heard this. The, you know these these kinds of. Um, jazz backgrounds, this uh, instrumental yeah. for, but her voice, exactly. her voice and the music video, it's just are, so, it's, 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 yeah, not what you're expecting, exactly. you know, and it, I'm not saying it's bad, no, like, it's not bad, you know. it's, yeah, it's like right down the middle between R&B and jazz, yeah, her voice is so smooth, oh, ooh, saxophone, cool, yeah, okay, all right, 
<laughs> yeah, you really, you totally took a chance with us on this one, and it paid off very much. So what did you think about that song overall musically? Uh, one of the most interesting musically songs that we've listened to to date, I think. It was great. I mean, like, uh, it was definitely not your traditional K-pop song, not just with, like, the gospel-influenced uh, harmony. Yeah, and, like, jazz-influenced harmonies and, like, her solo, which had, like, a lot of blues, like, material and stuff like that. Even the tenor sax was, like, totally, like, a blues lick that he did. But um, I love the groove. It was, like, not straight. The 16th notes were swung in, like, the rhythm section in the drummer, and it was just, like, a really nice fat two and four backbeat. So it's, like, really, really what fun to dance to. What does two, four backbeat mean? Sure. Well, uh, what it means is they're really emphasizing not just accenting two and four, but also, like, uh, how they're subdividing that beat because instead of feeling, like, with a lot of K-pop songs where it's just, like, eighth notes, mm -hmm. for example, or just, like, the quarter note, if they're feeling the sixteenth note, gives more weight to that quarter note. Oh, okay. To where if it's slower, kind of like this song, you really feel where the downbeat is. And it's really, right. really cool from a drummer's perspective. Everything having to do with the singing and the words made me uncomfortable. Yeah, that was kind of uncomfy. Everything else I loved. Yeah. Piano Which is great. a weird combo. <laughs> like, the instrumentation was dope. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. Or at least it was... And knowing what you said about that she did the entire thing, she played the piano, she, like, transcribed it, arranged it, like, I don't feel as bad saying that I didn't like her voice because there was so much of that that I did like. Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it grooved. I thought her piano playing was awesome. Like, you never really see, I mean, you know, they're strong in instrumentalists as well as vocalists in this field, but like, I think it's maybe one of the strongest instrumentalists we've seen. <laughs> I don't know. I really like the song. I don't know if I liked her voice with it. I think she had a really cool voice and like, in a different style, I think it would work really well. But I don't know how I felt about this. I just couldn't get like, Whitney Houston or like, Beyonce's voice out of my head. And like, I really wanted to hear something like a little more traditionally like R&B with this, or, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, it was still a really cool song, and I mean, she did a great job, so. I don't really have any complaints. I enjoyed that. Ba, 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 da, da, ba, da, da. Piano. So the bass line, oh, the, the yeah, piano bass line and the piano. That was so nice. Like, she's clearly very talented. Yeah, her voice, it like, it sounded really good with all the instruments. I think it, it well. like I the think texture it was really needed nice. a little bit more like resonance, mm -hmm. kind of like I think her voice was kind of thin sounding, because the texture of mm -hmm. the backgrounds like with all the different instruments was so thick. Yeah, like there was just I so much there. I beg to differ. There. I think it's like a clarinet in the orchestra. It just like, it's there. It like it shines through all the everything That's okay. going on. You know, We're it's not like an oboe. Opinions. It's not like an oboe, but it's like clarinet. It's good that it's not like an oboe. No! Oh, I like, no! I like oboe more than clarinet. Same. Yeah. It's the horn of like the woodwinds. Oh man. So, so what that whole experience reminded me of, I don't know, you, 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 go, you go to like a fancy restaurant, right? Oh man. And, and then... Getting you, you flashbacks. <laughs> and you're sat down, you know, it's really nice ambiance and stuff like that. And then the, the waiter brings you out like some, some Mott's applesauce. Or some shit. You know, something like, like, and you're like, what the f <laughs> But I'll just try it anyway. You, you try it, and it's really f good. <laughs> but it still doesn't change the fact that you're eating an applesauce at this really fancy restaurant. Like, you're enjoying the whole experience, but it's like, I like it. You know, it's kind of unexpected, uh, you know? It's yeah. really enjoyable. Yeah. But it's, I felt like the whole time I was like, you know, I'm so used to hearing something in, in you know, from the music from this idiom. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to hearing a much more mature vocal yeah. sound mm -hmm. out of it. But, but you know, it, it's not bad. I, I, I like it. <laughs> now we'll be reacting to Random, the title song for her Main Dish 2017 album. This was composed and arranged by her and a Swedish music producer, pianist, mixing, mastering engineer for Dirty Loops named Simon Petron. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, do you know who the Dirty Loops band is? Oh my goodness. Uh. Dirty Loops! So, during her showcase to promote this song, she said, I wrote random to take away preconceptions, because the title is random, and just like the title, the song's genre has many different ones in it. I'm not going to spoil which genre so she we're uses. So thrown for a loop here. Yes, exactly. Oh, we can play genre charades. A loop? You wanna? A loop? No, you're better at it. How are you gonna get better at it? Oh, uh, I just let you do it. Ugh, come on, what kind of way is that to live? <clears throat> Fine. 
like I'm at a creepy carnival, but like acapella edition. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that slide. Little See, this feels voice. like it fits a lot better. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Then again, I'm hearing her voice right away right, instead right, of after an right. introduction. Yeah. Well, it's a music box sound, so it works. Yeah. Mm. Yeah! Whoa. Oh, this is kind of out. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is awesome, actually. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> you can like still hear her waltz sound from the beginning, yeah. though. In this. Wow, that's. Brilliant. <laughs> Sorry. She I'm French. Actually... I understand. That was really nice. Went from like regular to double time. Just kind of like kicked it in. Oh, eyes. that harmony. I like the little fill. It's so like, it's like almost like, it's not like Neo Soul, but it's like modern jazz. It's actually pretty hip. Oh, very good drumming. Also, that's definitely composed. It sounds very random, but it's, it's almost certainly composed. It doesn't really sound like it fits in with the rest of the music though, because it's so... So different, and then it just stops, and then she starts singing. Maybe that's the point. If it's supposed to be random. Right. Yeah, I guess. Oh well, it came in there. Yeah. So. So maybe they're trying to like insert more for like continuity. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just like died down. And it's gonna pick up probably. See, I feel like you know I see what they're doing, but like I feel she needs to do something with a different with her voice. Yeah. Because it sounds like the backgrounds are different in a different style, but right now it doesn't sound like she herself is doing anything like, you know, extremely on his own. Wow, all of the choices about this I feel like are spot on. Last interlude. <laughs> Sounds like my first Days Theory composition. Mm -hmm. Back to the waltz. Acapella carnival chimes. Oh, I love this chorus. No, same. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. Yeah. This part, there's that part where she, her voice goes up really high. It sounds so effortless. This. Yeah. I like it when they go up to the high note. They just pop up there, pop it come. The little high, high Hammond. Oh yeah! Hmm. That was a tasty blues leg. Mm. Still has that kind of like high school. Theater, theater, theater. On, on the, the high, high Hammond. Yes. Oh, Is that a tonal sound? No. I think so. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. I loved it. Why isn't every K-pop tune like this? <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god! This is why when we're like, oh my god, but everyone does that. This video, this music you video, need to check out is this. why we're frustrated about that. Because this is so good, and so raw, and so human, yeah. and it's so personable, and it's so personal to her, and it's, it's so, good. it's so human! It's so human! It's so easy to relate to! Yeah, and it's actually good sounding. <clears throat> yes, and it's so well produced, and all of the choices are really good, and she's a very, everyone in the rhythm section was a strong instrumentalist, like, balanced well, textured well, mastered well, engineered yeah, well, recorded it. well, everything about it was perfect. And this was probably really expensive to do, but she's on a smaller label. So this was probably a big project for them. They focused on the product instead of the profits, and it worked out so much in their favor. Because even though this video only has 376,017 views, they have a fan for once. Like, yeah. you know, I'm never really, with the exception of the like maybe three or four artists who I've listened to on this whole channel, I am 100% sold on this. Yeah, that one was so fun. I really think, like, I liked the instrumentals in the first one, but I don't think they worked with her voice as well as this did. Like, I think she's meant to be in more, like, with the voice that she has, it's meant for more of, like, a combo setting. So, like, 
three. Sometimes there was like a synth thrown in there, adding like mm-hmm. a fourth instrument, including voice. Interesting. Yeah. And I, I think that that suits her like timbre and register better than the other one did. Man, that was a that was yeah, a really, like, a really. I can't believe she's not famous. These songs are like really catchy and really yeah. different. Like they stand out. They're short and sweet. It's like perfect. Yeah. Bite sized. And yeah, like stuff's stuff's happening musically. They're like really complex. Yeah. Like with the what is it when they're doing like the yeah that was dope. But yeah, I I can see why it's not that famous in Korea because I'm it's not very mainstream K-pop and if they're not used to like sure outside influences like classical jazz, yeah. bebop, that kind of stuff, then they'll be like, oh, I'm not sure what this is. And yeah, I feel like it's also different for us even in the fact that like. We're like we're reacting to these videos, but right, like we're like we have such we're musicians, like in the sense it's a mainstream, right? Absolutely, consumers. and we've already listened to a lot of either, like a wide variety of music. Mm-hmm. So when you hear something like this that's different, we're automatically drawn to it, just because I think maybe that's what we're yeah. we're drawn to, kind of in the first place, or just naturally. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So what do you think of this song overall? Oh man! Great. I like the French wall. It was really, like the, really, really fun. The do, 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 do. Yeah, I like how she utilized all the you know. There's the waltz. There's the the funky vaporwave kind of. Uh-huh. And then mm-hmm. and then there is the 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 a melody the bump. Bum, bum, uh-huh. bum, bum, and I feel like bum, bum, by, by inserting a little snippet of like the little, like the little weird the weirder stuff, and if people discover this song first, it might help the people get into her like yeah. more out there songs because they're, they're they know okay this is a sound that she likes to do. Yeah. So now I'm getting used to it, and then I hear it again, mm-hmm. but more. Like yeah. They, they might just get into like crazy jazz stuff. Yeah. I, it's, a, it's a nice window to like. I the like music it. genre. Mm-hmm. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new, I'm the channel runner and producer of the series. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're curious to see what else we're going to react to in the future, go ahead and check the description for a bunch of links that I have to playlists and schedules. Also, please check our Patreon if you want to support us. Patrons get access to unedited, full-length reaction videos, access to exclusive content, as well as early access to all the videos posted on here, and more. So thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.